Representative, I'm sorry, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to, y'all know I have kind of a hot temper, but I'm going to try to stay calm on this one best I can. But I, my stomach is churning right now. For seven years I've been here, and this is the lowest attempt at, at political grandstanding I've ever seen in my life. Is it, you know, if, if this was not a, nothing, nothing but an attempt to kill this bill, this, this amendment would have been put on there earlier. It's a, it's a late filed amendment to try to try to put somebody on the spot, vote against our veterans. Well, let me tell you what we've done in the last few years. We've given tax breaks to a lot of veterans on, on cars and things like that. We, we've done a few things like that. This is no more an attempt to try to put somebody on the spot for voting against veterans. I'm surprised that you, Representative Hawk, for bringing such an amendment. I thought you had higher caliber than that. This is low life. This is dirty. This, this is below. This is below the belt. If the federal government would take care of our veterans, we, we wouldn't even be thinking about something like this. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I'm, I'm so upset about this. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm shocked that we would get this low. Now we're going. Well, let's put a point set on there for world peace after we do this one. I mean, all, all you're trying to do is kill this bill and sit down and sit it. Now, and, and I'm so disturbed. And I'm going to stop before I start jumping up and down. This, is, this hurts me to my core, Representative Hall, and I'm ashamed of what you've just done. Representative Curtis in the well. Chairman Curtis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, I guess one of the greatest honors I've had since I've been here is being elected as the House Chairman of the Select Committee on Veterans Affairs.